Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm going to be talking to you today about our paper on the improved estimation of concentration under LP norm distance metrics using half spaces. Currently, there's a huge gap between the performance of state-of-the-art adversarially robust classifiers and traditional classifiers. The reasons for this gap's existence are not fully understood, which means it's an open problem whether or not this gap can be closed. Malou Jafar et al. showed in a 2019 NIPS paper that adversarial examples are inevitable if the data set is concentrated with respect to the adversary's perturbational capabilities. Therefore, the question of whether or not a data set is concentrated has important implications on whether adversarially robust classifiers might ever be able to achieve near traditional state of the art performance. This begs the question, how do we estimate the concentration of a data set? Our goal is to find a possible error region in a class agnostic setting which minimizes the number of non-error samples which can be perturbed into an error region with measure at least alpha by an adversary with our assumed capabilities. Alpha is typically chosen to reflect the state of the art traditional risk. In this framework, the problem of learning a data set's concentration reduces to the problem of searching through regions with at least alpha proportion of the samples and picking the region that has an epsilon expansion with minimal measure. In the graphic on the left, or excuse me, on the right, <laughs> taken from Gilmer et al's 2018 paper, the red region represents our region of traditional risk and the blue region represents the points that an adversary could perturb into the error region under his particular assumed capabilities. In considering new algorithms for finding strong error region candidates, we thought about the Gaussian isoparametric inequality. It tells us that in L2 space, a half space is a very strong estimate of the optimal error region for distributions that can be approximated as a standard Gaussian. More specifically, it states that a half space is the region whose epsilon expansion has minimal measure in an L2 space with n-dimensional standard Gaussian measure. In our paper, we prove a generalization of the theorem, which extends it to all LP spaces for P greater than or equal to 2, and to non-standard Gaussian distributions. This generalization tells us that any data set that we can approximate as Gaussian in any LP space has an optimal solution to the concentration estimation problem that can be accurately approximated by a half space. The problem then becomes enriching the infinite set of half spaces constituting our search space. In L2 space, the obvious choice for the optimal normal vector defining a half space to represent our error region is the distribution's first principal component. However, this breaks down in LP space for P greater than 2. In these spaces, the epsilon expansion of the initial error region will have a volume that grows with the cosine distance of the normal vector candidate from its nearest axis. The volume increase is undesirable since we are trying to minimize the measure of the expansion. Therefore, it is preferable to have more axis-aligned normal vectors defining the error region candidate half space. A sensible search space to yield epsilon expansions with minimal measure, then, is to iterate through vectors lying somewhere in between a distribution's principal components and their respective nearest axes. We propose iterating through these vectors by taking successive powers of the principal component aligned unit vectors. In the empirical results for the CIFAR 10 dataset, we can see that our method significantly outperforms the previous state of the art method in terms of both accuracy and convergence rate. The x-axis is the number of samples used to estimate the optimal error region, and the y-axis represents the corresponding adversarial risk measured for this estimated error region, that is, the measure of its epsilon expansion. Note that alpha is a trivial lower bound for the adversarial risk, since the adversarial risk is the measure of the epsilon expansion of a potential error region, and that error region itself must have measure at least alpha. Therefore, the estimates of our method makes come within 0.02 of their true value using only about a thousand samples. 
Here are the results for MNIST. Again, our algorithm exhibits strong performance both in terms of convergence rate and accuracy. However, of note particularly here is the fact that MNIST is highly non-Gaussian. Recall that our algorithm was designed based on our ability to approximate the optimal error region using a half space for data sets which are approximately Gaussian, which we have from our extension of the Gaussian isoparametric inequality. What this tells us is that our algorithm still performs very well even outside the domain of approximately Gaussian distributions where there is theoretical evidence for its efficacy. Lastly, we assess the performance of our algorithm on a synthetic 784 dimensional Gaussian distribution for which we are able to analytically derive the true concentration represented here with the dash dot line. We see that our algorithm approaches this true value very quickly coming with a 0.01 of the true concentration given only about 1,000 samples. By significantly tightening the bounds on intrinsic robustness for multiple benchmark data sets, we have demonstrated that data set concentration of measure does not explain why we haven't been able to find adversarially robust classifiers. This leaves the door open for potential future developments in adversarially robust learning that allow robust models to achieve near traditional state-of-the-art performance. Thank you.